Doug Aldrich, what an incredible guitar player and super nice guy as well. I've met him a couple of times and you know what? For years I've wanted to learn some Doug licks. So a couple of years ago, I learned some. And today I'm going to teach you. Yeah! Um, as always, uh, if you enjoy this, please do subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification. Give it a thumbs up as well. I am playing through my wonderful Red Stuff 1987 fat amplifier which is just down here you can see it and um, on the original video I actually used my wonderful Kaipro guitar my um, trans black one which I adore and which is loaded with Doug Aldrich pickups yeah <laughs> that is tuned to E and I did the um, track in E flat so I am going to be using this yeah my iconic evolution S which is just a stunning guitar Let's do this. Let me show you how to play that, that lick, that lick, that, that, that Doug lick. Let's do it. Yeah, that trilly trilly lick. You know you want to learn it. Alrighty, so um, uh, what I do there is I actually start off on the 10th fret of the um, high E string, and I'm playing in the key of E minor. So um, I'm bending up this 10th fret of the E string a full step, first of all, and putting lots of nice wide vibrato on there. And I scrape the strings along with it, and if there's some extraneous noise, then that's cool, because it sounds cool. <laughs> One little tip about when you do a bend and vibrato on top of the bend, um, always establish the bend first, get it up to pitch, and then push the string even further up the bend. So if I'm doing a whole step bend here, my vibrato is going to go past that whole step, so I'll go one and a half steps. So that's essentially what I'm doing. So rather than bringing it down, which actually is really, really, really difficult to control, and it ends up sounding like the note is actually incorrect, which you don't want. <laughs> you don't want it to sound like this. <laughs> well, maybe you do. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to get that vibrato right, like I said, establish the note first, get it to the top, and then push it further, and then bring it back down to um, the, the pitch that you need to, so the whole step bend. Alrighty, after that we get into the trilly trillies! Yay! So I'm going to slide into the 12th fret of the high E string and I'm going to use a chromatic run here. Um, I'm going to pull off to the 11 and then the 10. So that's going to be my first move. I'm then going to do uh, a couple of quick trills um, between the 11th and the 10th fret of the E string. So I'm going to hammer back onto the 11, pull back off to 10, hammer onto 11, pull back off to 10. So like this. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to come to the 12th fret of the B string. And that's going to be the first trilly lick. Alright, then I'm going to move up to the B string and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to pull off 12, 11, 10, uh, trilly trilly between um, 10 and 11, and then come to the 12th fret of the uh, G string. Now this time I'm going to do a repeat. So once I come up to the 12th fret of the G string, I'll come back to the um, 10th fret of the B and do two more trills. So I'll um, I'll pick at the 10, hammer onto 11, pull back off, hammer onto 11, pull back off, and then um, uh, come back to the uh, the 12 again on the um, on the G string. So like this. So that's my second move. Alrighty. After that, I'm going to come up to um, the B string, 12th fret. I'm going to do one and a half step bend here. Nice big bend. Very Doug kind of sounding bend. So I do a one and a half step bend, which is the same note as the 15th fret on the B. And I'm bringing it down slowly. So rather than just uh, doing a quick bend up, I'm bringing it back down. Uh, once I get up there, I'm slowly, slowly, slowly releasing it. It's 
like that. Nice kind of moaning sound. <laughs> Anywho's. Alrighty, after that I am going to do 12, 11, 10 again on the B string, but I'm going to make these notes staccato and slow. Nice dan dan dan. Adds in a little bit of punch after the, um, the very legato phrase that we just played there. Yeah? So that's going to be my next move. Alrighty, then what I'm going to do is pick at the 10th uh, fret of the B string again, hammer onto 11, pull back off, and come to the 12 on the uh, G string. And then to end the phrase, I'm going to bar off the uh, 12th fret of the D string and the G string. I'm going to pick the D string 12, um, pick the uh, 12th fret of the G string, then come back to the 12 on the D. And I slightly mute this when I do this as well. And then to finish off, I'm going to come to the 9th fret of the G string, pick it and put some nice wide vibrato on it. And that's the whole of the lick. So it's got the contrast between like the uh, really kind of, you know, fluid um, legato phrases, the bends which kind of, you know, just hold and meander and then come back down slowly and stuff. And then you've got that staccato bit in the middle as well, which makes this a, an absolutely fascinating lick to play. So slowly, if I can do it, hopefully I can, fingers crossed, it doesn't take me 50 takes. <laughs> It kind of sounds like this. Woohoo! Did it first take. <laughs> didn't expect that. Anyways, <laughs> it's actually quite difficult playing these things at a slower speed. Now, you know, usually I just tear into it and that's easy because I just let my fingers do their thing. But when, when you slow it down, it's kind of like, what did I do there? <laughs> so it's kind of tricky sometimes. Anyways, there's the lick. Here it is quickly again. <laughs> There you go, there's a Doug Lick for you today. I am probably going to be doing another Doug Lick. If you would like to see another Doug Lick, leave a comment below and um, let me know because um, I might just do that. Depends. Depends on whether you guys want it or not. <laughs> Alright guys, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who uh, support the channel um, each week and uh, each month really appreciate it uh, remember to subscribe to the channel click that bell notification and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends on social media etc etc here is the whole of the solo um, which I did with that wonderful Kuiper guitar and which sounds very very dark hopefully <laughs> have a great day guys I shall see you next time with another video see you later Bye.